Okay, there's some pumpkin seeds right there. So I'm gonna clean that up, get them ready for next year. The biggest pumpkin I ever grew, I think, was that big. That's uh, the vine board gets a hold to them every year, no doubt. But this is about uh, saving seeds from you know, little tiny, tiny peppers. There we are, right there. This is bird's eye. Some people call it a different thing, but I call it bird's eye. You really need to let them dry out really good. Like, really, really good. And all you do is just squeeze them. And the seeds are so small. Just rub them between your fingers. And there they are. I done my cayenne today. That's why my nose is running. But yeah, just there we go. Let's squish them a little bit. And you're gonna get some meat in there with them, but if they're really dry, they come right out of there. And they're so tiny, it's uh kind of a pain in the butt. But I like my bird's eye, especially with uh some breakfast. Get you some a burrito, a breakfast burrito. Eat a couple of these with it. Good to go. But yeah, uh, some peppers, you know, like the bird's eye, they actually turn turn red like this. You know, it's red, but it's not dry. It's not dry at all. Then all of a sudden, it'll turn back to this color, and then they're dry. Don't ask me why. It's just how they do it they, that's that's their thing that's how they do it but yeah them vine borers they get me every year but this year i'm gonna plant every one of them dang pumpkin seeds i'm getting me a pumpkin i don't care what what happens see this one's a little bit hard but it's it's not hard enough to not actually crack open and then these here you know it's a green one but the plant was dying, so I went ahead and took it all of them off. And this one here, you just got to wait wait their turn. Uh, there's one right there. It turned back to a different color. And the, like I said, the seeds are so small. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. And yes, I will regret it because these seeds are pretty warm. But you can't really do this in gloves. But yeah, you don't have to... As soon as your peppers, you take the peppers off the, off the plant, you don't have to take the seeds out. You can just let them wait till they dry out. Um, these are my peppers. This is a penis passion. Uh, I got four of them, and I got about another. I say about thirty of them outside, but they're you. You can't do anything with these right now. They're just, they're just still soft, 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 like really soft. Uh, this pepper here, I forgot the name of it. It's, uh, some weird name. I'd have to get, go back in my books and look at what it's called. But this is the color that it gets. And this is ripe, as ripe as it gets. Um, uh, it's pretty soft, but I think I may have to take the seeds out earlier because it's such a, you know, such a bigger pepper. <laughs> It's not gonna, you know, make mildew or whatever before it's uh before I can get the seeds out. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, ready? What the holy crap is that? Anyway, yeah, that's uh the bird's eye pepper seeds. They are tiny, <laughs> really tiny. And the uh the fingernail file, what I use for that is um uh, actually. When I do my cayenne, I actually, what well, I, I tried to do this one, tried to show y'all, but my, my phone started ringing. But all you got to do, this is a, you know, it's, it's not all the way right, but see the seeds, they're still in there. So I have to dig them out. But when they're dry, they just fall out. See, there's the seeds for the cayenne right there. But alright y'all, you have a good day, God bless, stay safe, stay healthy.